Hello, there are lots and lots of things that I absolutely love about this job, but following Bernard speaking is not one of them. <laughs> following Bernard and my three predecessors speaking uh, <laughs> makes it even worse. But uh, uh, here you go. So, Lyft is 30. Uh, 30 first year of anniversaries are pearl anniversaries. Pearls begin life as a piece of grit and transform into something fine and admirable. That seems to me to be a very appropriate metaphor for Lyft especially as Rose and Lucy have cultured so many beautiful pearls. It's clear from the amazing number of birthday messages that we've had that Lyft is so well loved, that so many people have had such a life-affirming, startling and beautiful moments at Lyft, and that it's the imagination of Rose and Lucy and Anne Harrod who've been responsible for making many of those moments happen in London. I inherited an organisation with a fantastic legacy and we've booked loads of goodwill, and it's my job to take that adventure into the future. So what of the future? Well, as 2012 comes to town and the world recounts to London, Lyft will continue to invite artists to excavate every seam of this city, revealing and unfolding its diversity and interculturalism, and helping us see the city of Thresh. We will make theatre that enriches, ourselves, that enriches our sense of ourselves and the world around us, that challenges us out of the complacency of everyday living with the big issues of our time, of the relationship between the local and the global, of conflict and of climate change. We will, of course, remain bold, adventurous, maverick, and, as those I said, mischievous, pushing the boundaries of what theatre is and where it can be. And I guess nothing embodies that more than flying the Sky Orchestra over one of the most highly secure and restricted airspaces in the world. <laughs> uh, you've heard the music here today and I really hope that you enjoy Luke and Dan's fantastic project, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, from Monday. In the thrill and excitement of a festival, we'll bring you the epic and the intimate, the shared experience of the epic and the intimate, and we will, as we always have, place art and artists those fantastic, extraordinary truth-tellers at the heart of what we do. To do that, we need our friends, and it's fantastic to see you all here. Uh, uh, I know that you've been on a journey with us for the last 30 years, uh, uh, that we've benefited hugely from your generosity, from your friendship, and from your kindness and your love, and we will continue to draw on that as a real strength. Because, again, as, as picking up what was said earlier, Lyft is a real community. And, you know, the more help you can give us, the more, we, the more we will appreciate that. I want to end with another slightly more popular analogy, and excuse me if this feels a bit kind of geeky or, an or anoraki, but the analogy of Doctor Who, who guarantees its immortality through the regeneration of its lead character. Well, perhaps Rose and Lucy were like William Hartnell, the steely, determined, but slightly eccentric founders. And Howard was the impish and moral Patrick Troughton. <laughs> Me, the more technologically orientated dandy adventurer that is John Pertwee. Oh. And if that analogy holds true, all I can say is, it's good news for Lyft, because ne next up is Tom Baker. <laughs> uh, so as with all Lyft events, this has been a team effort, and we have a fantastic team of Lyft, uh, at Lyft, and I have huge thanks and admiration for my staff and for the board. I particularly want to thank today Siobhan, uh, who's helped pull this event together, and all the volunteers and placements that, she, that, that have helped make this day fantastic. Uh, and I just want to end by hoping that you'll join us in raising a glass and in a rousing edition, supported by the band, uh, of Happy Birthday to Lyft. Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs>